Leroy Selman was a true legend, both on and off the football field. The Hall of Famer continued supporting the support he loved long after he left the NFL. And on October 20th through the 23rd at Leroy Selman's restaurants, they are honoring his legacy through what is his birthday week. Yeah, and joining us today is Eric Ruger, managing partner at Leroy Selman's. Good morning. Thank Welcome. You, good morning. Thank you very much. What a great way to honor a, a, such a great man with food. This is his other passion. He loved uh, NFL, loved football, and he loved food, did he not? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. He always said that his fondest memories growing up either happened on the football field or at his mother's kitchen table. So. Hence, Mama's meatloaf this morning. I yes. mean, I was going to say, I know Carly is a meatloaf connoisseur. We've discussed it several times, so we're excited you are making for us. Of course, I'm hearing like the, you know, Will Ferrell, like, ma, the meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, what is the ma, the meatloaf? What's it about at Leroy's? Okay, Selman? well, our meatloaf begins with a uh, combination of ground beef and ground pork. Huh. We beef and pork. Yes, okay. beef and pork All adds right. a little richness to the flavor. We have a standard mix of some cracker, some onion, some green pepper. That's what I like in my meatloaf, yeah, cream absolutely. pepper. Absolutely. Some salt and pepper seasoning, a little egg as a binder, and a little barbecue sauce. That's what I was, the sauce, what sauce do there. you use? Okay. Yep, a little sweet, bold, smoky barbecue. So that gets all mixed up, mm -hmm. combined together. Um, and then from there, get it into your loaf pan. Magic of TV, Magic I like it. Uh, there. Step one, step two. In the oven for about an hour and a half. Okay. All right. And now, how we finish our meatloaf mm -hmm. is get it sliced, and get it on a grill top. So we have an open flame grill at our this. restaurant. Okay, cool. And add some more texture and just another flavor component coming off that hot fire. And then we finish it again with another basting of a oh. sweet, smoky barbecue sauce. And that gives it just some of that tanginess. To so finish it off. I gotta ask, before the segment started, uh, you guys were kind of setting up and you were pouring was it barbecue sauce that you were pouring on? I mean, is that like a staple ingredient for you guys that really gives it the kick factor that your restaurant has? It is, it is. It helps maintain kind of a southern touch with, with all of our food. Uh, so we like to incorporate it when possible. And it is a southern twist. We <laughs> see the chicken and waffles yeah. over here. We got cheese grits. Yeah. And talk about, go back to the meatloaf and how, what is the special going on for that particular weekend where, we're where we are celebrating? Well, to celebrate the birthday weekend of the 20th to the 23rd, we're featuring that dish at a discount because we really want everybody to have an opportunity to get to enjoy this dish mm -hmm. that Leroy held so close to his heart from yeah. his, his days growing up. You had a chance to meet Leroy several times. I did. Tell us, I, I, want, I want to hear your thoughts on uh, well, you know, what uh, kind of man you thought he was and how he inspired you. Yeah, I always feel very fortunate to have met him at a, a relatively young age as a professional and getting to learn the things he did, working with charities, working with USF, developing a football program, uh, developing the Mentoring Institute, mm -hmm. uh, which is a transitional program that he created for student athletes to get into their professional life afterwards. Uh, and the, to know all the things he achieved while still remaining so humble and so kind and sincere and you know, so outwardly giving. It was, uh, it's a great example that I'll carry for the rest of my life. Oh, you know, I'm always, and I'm always fascinated talking with people who have a passion like yourself for the business you do or the company that you work for. And when you know who it is about and you believe in the same, those same qualities of life, I'm assuming yeah. it makes it even more exciting to be able to go to work and really put your touch on things. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, that's one reason why we're, we're happy to discuss the book as well mm -hmm. that, uh, that Claver has written. Yeah, so tell us about this book if you can. This is his sure. wife who's just come out with this book, correct? Yes, Claver wrote this book uh, really as a testament and uh, a, a tale of the man that Leroy was mm -hmm. uh, both both professionally and personally and just has a lot of accounts of, of people that he met and impacted throughout his life at the various stages and it's just a way that that uh, she's able to continue to pass on a legacy and I believe the proceeds of that book go to that organization you were talking about as well right yes yeah we're actually selling the book in all of our restaurants mm -hmm. and all of the proceeds for the book go to that mentoring institute that I mentioned which is something that Leroy was uh, you know of all the things he was passionate about that's that's one of the ones as well that yeah. he wanted to give that opportunity to help student athletes move forward in their lives. That's so awesome. And how's our meatloaf coming? It is fantastic. Um, <laughs> so in? You, you are welcome to dive in. Yes, this is, uh, this is all real food. It's not plastic, so you can enjoy. Uh, what are your most popular things besides Mama's Meatloaf? What are, because I know what my most popular things sure. are, but what do you sell the most well, of? Here we have the Mama's Meatloaf, okay. uh, as you mentioned. Uh, the Summon Brothers wings are really a, a staple and an iconic 
mm -hmm. item on our menu. Um, off to the side, you see the chicken and waffles, which is one item that Leroy always kind of lobbied for, and we worked really hard to get it, you know, the exact right recipe, and, and we're happy to have that. You had to menu. lobby for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that one is another very special one for him. And then the sweet heat fried chicken, you know, just great southern mm -hmm. classic dishes. That, uh, that Leroy had when he was growing up. You know, and I want to talk about your location too, how nice it is, because I w just went to a Bucks game and saw how many people leaving that area <laughs> to walk to the game. Yeah. That's got to be even more special to be close yeah. to Raymond James. It, it's fantastic. And again, it's, it's something that uh, Leroy was known for, being such a successful football player, and we're able to maintain that connection with the great location that we have and, and stay close with the Bucks. Ah, oh, got to stay close with the Bucks. Yeah, we love I that, know, right? And I was Go gonna, Bucks. yes, and I was gonna say we want to uh, dive in. Um, there's we're gonna have to find Ford. Like I guess we that in the commercial break. I think we've learned that by I now, know. Carly. We always get excited Jeez. to talk to our guests and what they have. But we always forget to put out <laughs> forks. Eric, thank you so <laughs> thank much you. for being here this morning. We really appreciate it, and I hope everybody pleasure. comes by and tries Mama's meatloaf. We're gonna yes. try it now and, and celebrates yeah. Leroy Salmon's mm -hmm. birthday. All right.